Hi, I'm Paulo Silva, an undergraduate student of the Federal University of Campina Grande, and today I'll be present the paperwork Rebaking Functions to Warm the Serverless Code Start. This work was a collab between the Distributed Systems Laboratory and the Federal Institute of Alagoas. The motivation of this work was the code start problem on serverless platforms that offer the function as a service computing model. As you can notice in the GIFs, the code start problem is a delay in a function execution when there are no ready resources to execute the function source code. The 2018 serverless community survey showed that the code start issue is the third most serious concern of developers when considering moving to serverless. The platforms usually address the issue by keeping a pool of idle function instance, but this strategy can increase the cost, the cost of operating the platform. Considering a typical serverless platform architecture, the code start can manifest itself in three stages. The first one is when there is no container or VM to isolate the function process execution. In this case, before executing the function, it would be required to launch the isolated execution environment. The second stage is when there is no ready process to execute the function application. Then it is required to wait for the process to launch typically using the standard Forecast procedure. And finally, the last stage is the launch of the function application in itself. It means that it would be required to initialize the runtime environment and its internal structures, as well as load and compile the function source code along with its dependencies. Some major cloud providers decided to focus on reducing the time to launch the isolated execution environment by developing new lightweight isolation mechanisms, for example, the Firecracker and Divisor. However, the proposed solutions to also reduce the time to launch the process and the functional application they often lead to the problems of significant architectural change in the platforms and additional services provisioning and maintenance. To solve the function startup delay and tackle the problem of the current solutions, we develop the pre-baking technique with four design goals. First, the solution should avoid the function startup steps Second, be easy to integrate with existing fast platforms. Third, not harm the function performance. And fourth, not increase the cost of operating the platform. Our primary design goal was the avoidance of the startup steps. In the context of managing VMs in the cloud, a solution for it already exists. It's common to save the execution states of VM in cloud providers and later recover it to avoid all setup steps. We designed the pre-baking technique based on the checkpoint recovery mechanism, which has two main phases, the checkpoint and the recovery phase. During the checkpoint phase, the programming state must be saved into a stable storage to be later recovered. We decided that the checkpoint phase of our technique should be triggered during the function deployment in the platform. So at this moment, the platform must launch the function process and wait for the completion of all startup steps. After the function app checkpoint, the technique assumes that the function process state can be delivered to launch a new function instance. Then, instead of launching the function using the standard procedure, the platform can restart the function process in a ready-to-use state. We implemented the checkpoint recovery mechanism using Creo, which is a tool to checkpoint and restore Linux process in user space. And in order to evaluate 
if the technique accomplishes the first and second design goals, we focus our evaluation on two questions. Can the pre-breaking technique improve the startup time of serverless functions? And does the startup procedure lead to any penalty on the function performance? To answer such questions, we did a standalone evaluation to compare the performance of the standard startup procedure with the pre-baking technique. To perform the evaluation, we implemented three Java functions, the no-op, markdown, and image resizer. The no-op is a function with no business logic, in which we consider a baseline function for files. The markdown function converts a markdown to HTML page. And the image resizer function scales down image to 10% of its original size. We consider this function the most complex one because it loads an image, an image of one megabyte from disk during the startup. We measured the startup time by probing the moment when we requested the function to launch and probing the moment when the function accepted the very first request. As you can notice, along the pre-baking technique improved the function startup time by at least 40% for the NOP app and 70% for the image resizer app. After serving the very first request, we applied 200 requests and measured its service time. We did it by probing the time that the function took to process each request. For both functions, the pre-baking technique does not harm the function performance after the restore process. As we noticed on the startup experiment, the image resizer function startup was significantly impacted by the initialization operations. We designed a new experiment to show the function startup tendency when the application becomes more complex in terms of its dependencies total size. With that in mind, we developed three functions with different dependencies size categories, small, medium, and big. The small function totalized 2.8 megabytes of dependencies, the medium totalized 9.2 megabytes, and the big one totalized 41 megabytes. We can see that as the function grows more complex, the startup time increases as well. Alone, the pre-baking technique decreased the function startup time, but it noticed that the lessness characteristics of the GVM to load and compile the function source code also impacts the startup time. Then, we added our map procedure to the checkpoint phase of our, our technique, forcing the GVM to load and compile the function source code. So, as you can notice, the pre-baking technique with the warm-up procedure show, show an even higher improvements on the function startup time, reaching 1,900% for the big function. In order to assess the second and the fourth design goals, we integrated the technique with an open source serverless platform, the OpenFiles. It, it was easy to integrate the technique because it wasn't required to modify the architecture of the platform or introduce any additional service. We just created a new OpenFast template along with a generic Docker file for each programming language that we wanted to support. And behind the curtains, we allowed the function process checkpoint and restore to be performed by the platform. In our paperwork, we concluded that the application startup can also play a big role in code start time. It's not an exclusivity of launching VMs and containers. The technique has the potential to reduce the code start of serverless functions, even functions with heavy startup requirements like big library dependencies. And the technique was easily integrated with an existing serverless platform, showing its robustness. And thanks for watching.